Hi there, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a fabulous day. Yes, so back again and another first fragrance from the house and as you can see, yes, from the title. We are talking about Testament Collection and this is Blind Dead. What is Blind Dead like? And this is one of the fragrances that we got for Christmas. Yes, so we are still talking about new additions. Let's find out what Blind Dead is is all about. Right, so for presentation, this came in this box like so. So just the box, nothing special with the box. And on the box it does say, it might contain tears of forgiveness and lots of memories. <laughs> That's what it says on there. And it's just uh, saying about where you can get the scents, ingredients, etc. and where it's made in the UAE. So that's about the box. And as for the presentation for the bottle, that's our bottle. So a kind of a gold finish on there. And it's like a frosted uh, glass bottle. And the cup is uh, the cup is hood. It's a wooden cork, so to speak, and with a gold finish there. So, testament, blind dead. What is blind dead like? I'm just gonna spray. Trying to find a clean space where we don't have anything on. Gonna go in there. Right. So just uh, spraying to freshen the nose because I've been spraying quite a few things and. Oh my gosh, uh, the initial spray originally, this is grapefruit with violet and saffron. It's quite heavy on the saffron. So I think that if you are one person who can't tolerate too much saffron or too much violet, ideally this is a fragrance I would say sample before you buy because I feel like if you are not really particular, um, if you are very particular about violet or saffron, this is quite heavy on the saffron and violet, so testament. And it does project quite a bit as well. So this is uh, EDP as well, and uh, it's from a British brand, and this is by um, a Romanian guy. And this is uh, marketed, I believe, for women and men so it is a unisex fragrance but to my nose if i'm being honest i would say it leans more masculine than uh feminine just for the sake of review it is unisex very unisex but i would say it leans more masculine if you want to know like where would it suit best i would say definitely more kind of unis um masculine than feminine and as well this is cruelty free as well so if you are quite conscious about consuming certain products what you put on your skin in your body etc you'll be happy to know this is a cruelty free um, uh, fragrance and as well the listed notes in this one i did look up so we've got notes at the top there's some um juniper berry there's juniper there's leather there's saffron we've got pram there's uh, raw violet as well so violet there's leather again in the middle um, of the composition so in the mid you do get some leather there's vanilla there's some rose you do get some coconut cashmere vetiver raspberry sandalwood and to my nose to be honest this opens up like i said it's quite heavy on that saffron and that violet and that's in the opening with the grapefruit and um the coconut and vanilla i feel as it, the fragrance wears down kind of tones that a little bit but if you are thinking coconut vanilla and as well there's some raspberry this will get sweet it does not at all not to my nose at not at one point since i spread this has it gotten to a point where i feel like oh that's sweet it's not not at all it's quite i think because the violet and the saffron are quite prominent i think that no matter how much sweetness you could have added to this it would never get like really sweet 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 if that makes sense and because there is that leather as well the leather is prominent as well kind of from the top as well but i feel like it's the saffron and the violet that quite dominates the 
wear of this fragrance but then ever since i've spread it i've spread other things so again i would wear it on its own and come back and give you thorough thoughts on it but to start with that's what i have to say and as well the leather with this one i do i do get some woody undertones as well ever so slightly not a lot but just ever so slightly and there's it's it's really it's nice if you enjoy these knots it is lovely but i will say this there is also hints of uh, tonka bean in the base from uh, when I wore it before. I got some hints of, I think, some tonka bean, just ever so slightly. Something, you know, in the dry down, like some tonka bean. I might be wrong, might be just coming maybe even from that same uh, vanilla. And the vetiver, I'll be honest with you, I don't really pick that up. I don't really pick that up. But these are my initial impressions. So be nice to wear it give it a proper full wear a couple of times or more and then come back and do a review because i wouldn't give you my full thoughts final thoughts on this uh just based on um a few sprays you know for a few minutes ideally i would have to wear it for a few hours a few times to see how it wears as well wear it outdoors rather than just indoors because ever since i've sprayed it i've just been indoors so it'd be interesting to wear it outside but so far from how it smells in the initial spray my initial impressions would be that this is a fragrance you could get away wearing autumn winter even any kind of spring you would get away with this i can't really see myself wearing this in the summer if that makes sense so definitely kind of cooler weather fragrance but yes it is lovely if you love those notes and as well when I spread it, it kind of gave me that vibe, slight vibe I get from Fragrance Du Bois Sarah Hood. But then I, I think it's probably coming from the um, saffron again. So be interesting. Have you tried this fragrance? Please, if you have, let us know down in the comments below. Because we want to know other people's experiences. You know, how does this fragrance work for you? And I'm looking forward to try a few more from the collection. So it'd be nice to try a few others and compare to see and find out what I really do love from the collection. So another new brand added to the collection. This is my first from Testament and this this is blinded looking forward to wearing it and coming back and giving another thorough review so for now new addition blinded from testament i hope you watched to the end and if you did and you're watching this you're not subscribed what's stopping you go on hit the bell for notifications subscribe if you haven't i shall see you in the next video thank you so much for watching happy holidays bye